Hi guys, I've had an email from Jojo in France and was interested to know how to achieve the, um, the delay tab that we did with the female voice there a while back, um, but do it on Cool Edit as opposed to Pro Tools. So just going to work on uh, Cool Edit here today. Um, now, first of all, what you need to do is determine how, how fast, at what pace you want your um, delay tap to run at. And usually when you're doing a delay tap, you're putting it up against some music. So I've just got a basic beat here. Um, if I hit play, a basic beat running there. Now from beat one to beat two, if we highlight that selection, our time down here is about 470 uh, milliseconds. Now that's beat one to beat two. In the middle here we have the half beat. So we're going to take it to the half beat. And we now have a time of 234 milliseconds down here. So we know that that's the time that we need. Now we're going to switch windows and go across that we've got ready to go. And I'm going to delete the uh, delete delay, sorry, the FM bit at the end here. Select effects, um, delay effects, and we want the multi-tap delay, okay? Go multi-tap delay. Now I've got a basic, um, just a basic little two-step delay here. So our number, if you remember, it was 234. So we're going to type 234 into that parameter there and 234 into here as well. Uh, let's let's set the feedback at about 50%. We'll show you what happens shortly with that. Now 234 again in there, 234, um, 50%, and uh, close enough. And if we hit OK now, you got this nice um, FMMM kind of delaying through there. Let's undo that and see what happens when we wind that feedback up to uh, let's let's go 100% and beyond. Um, so 100% beyond, okay, and you're going to get this big delay feedback winding up. It uh, it comes up really nice. Now, not sure if you can hear that properly, um, but have a play around with that. The other thing to have a play with is when you're going to delay effects, multi-tap delay. Take one of the um, the delay units because we're running two here. Halve that figure. Or double that figure. Let's go double that figure. So 468, 468, 468. And you, you start playing around with the different effects that you can draw from these delay units. Then you would take that, um, that finished product, you get it to where you're happy, um, take that, drop it into your multi-track session and layer it up against the music and the beat, match it all up and away you go.